welcome back to Mudlake Ranch. Uh, today we're here to talk to you about the Star Chamber Cleaning Tool from Otis Technology. Uh, it's really a brilliant tool. Uh, this is intended to clean the uh, Star Chamber area or the area where your locking lugs, your bolt carrier group, slide in and rotate. Um, carbon can build up in there and it's a pain to get to. A lot of people will use like Q-tips and uh, hand scrapers that you can't really see what's going on. Um, but this tool um, extends by pressing this button, locks into place. Um, if you're like me, you're going to pull it right out if you go too quickly. Um, it will pass through this uh, locking position. Um, just be careful pulling it out. It easily reassembles. Um, but it's got these metal scraper blades. They're 1144 steel, I believe, which is a softer steel than what is used um, in the receiver of your firearm so it cannot remove metal um, but is stiff enough to remove carbon and then that steel is coated with um, manganese that helps harden this soft steel and protect it from wearing out um, and protect your firearm at the same time so we'll get a detailed image of this sliding into the rear receiver of your firearm and where it enters the star chamber or locking lug area of your firearm. Um, but after you've scraped the firearm out, this unthreads. And you can replace it with these felt patches that apply in the same way. And they're shaped the same way so that they fit through into the star chamber area and you're able to apply CLP or uh, finish it with your dry cleaning with um, these pads to, to clean out any of the debris that have been scraped away or scraped off by the uh, scraper bit here. Um, really a fantastic tool. Um, every time I've shown this to somebody at a trade event, trade show, um, no matter if they've been in the industry for years, uh, new to guns, or they've had an AR and they you know, hate cleaning that area. They're always fascinated with this cleaning tool. Um, it's been on the market for over seven years now, um, but it does a remarkable job and it will save you a lot of time. But let me demonstrate now how it actually slides into the firearm and um, give you a better look at what it actually does. All right, so you see this little dimple or lip up right there that stops the blades from turning so when you turn clockwise it doesn't continue to spin where it's tightened down here um, here we have a standard m4 upper let me position it so you can actually see the, the area that we're going to be cleaning receiver just big enough that it rides like um, perfectly in the upper receiver like the bolt carrier group. When it's turned in the correct position it will pass through and scrape inside the area behind the locking lug area, the star chamber. Hopefully get that working. switch the blades out for the uh, felt pad. Same situation here. I like to use a lot of this, but I'm going to go back through and uh, dry it up with a dry felt patch. Okay. 
All right, so uh, now I'm applying CLP. You can do this as much or as little as you need to. Which I have a hard time saying uh, in the uh, in that area. Uh, take this off, put a dry one on, and then uh, we'll wrap that up. So these patches, uh, when you buy the uh, Star Chamber cleaning tool, um, you get a few. I don't remember how many come in the kit, but um, you can buy them in sets of 12, or you can pick up this much larger container here. I think this has 200 of them. So it's a 200 count container. If you're going to be doing, if you have a considerable arsenal, if you are um, law enforcement or armor that is cleaning guns for lots of people, um, you might want to consider getting the 200 count, but most people can get probably get by with a 12 or occasionally. Again, sizing the receiver. Kind of like the uh, Otis cleaning method, wet, wet patch, bronze, brush, dry patch. Um, you could start with a wet patch and then move on to your carbon scraper and then go to the dry patch. But here we go. It's not too bad. It's as clean as I would uh, want it to be. Um, you could turn this, pad, this uh, felt pad over. As you can see, most of the carbon and following is loading up on the front side of that. All right, that about wraps up this uh, overview video of the Otis Star Chamber Cleaning Tool. If you found this helpful, be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, you can find a link to this product in the description below. And hopefully this helps you out and makes cleaning your firearm a whole lot easier. Thank you.